Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to do uh, a slightly more uh, intermediate lesson at RPG Maker VX Ace. Uh, we're going to learn how to use control switches to kind of uh, dictate the flow of your game and uh, provide uh, conditions for players uh, to, uh, to whether or not how they can advance the story. So let's get started. So I've started work down here on this like uh, crypt. It's not done yet, I'm still doing a little bit of a designing work down here. I don't like that. Oh, the crystal looks better than the black pillar. Um, but, so I'm still just kind of working on this crypt down here. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Um, but I'm kind of kind of want to make uh, a way to get into the crypt. And what I was kind of thinking was maybe your player is going to hop down that hole right there, the tomb, which is going to take you down into the crypt, down to this little rope that I've created here. But what I want to do is I want to make it so our player has to find the rope first before they can hop down. And we'll just hide the rope in this crate over here or whatever you want to do. So uh, let's, uh, let's get this started. It's actually pretty simple once you understand how switches work and how conditional branches work. So let's get going. So I'm going to switch over to event mode first. And I'm going to create a new event here on, the, uh, on this little hole here. So I click new event. And I'll just call this event... Uh, you know, a hole to crypt. And uh, I'm going to set the priority to same as characters. We've got to be careful about that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing a show text. Uh, descend into the crypt, question mark. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a show choices, just a yes and a no. Right, and this is already giving us some choice for our players. When uh, when we click no, we'll just have our character, you know, do some kind of response here. So uh, here we are. Be able to say, nah, I don't like pits. Sure, that works. Okay, so when you click no, the character just can say, nah, he's not interested in that. But when we click yes, here is where we're going to do a conditional branch. Now this is putting a condition. On the outcome of this decision. So if I click conditional branch, it's going to ask me what I want that conditional branch to be. So we've got a couple different options here. You can have different enemies or goals or items or inventory. And all we're going to do is we're going to make a conditional branch based around a switch, just like a light switch you're going to turn on or off. And we currently haven't created any switches yet. That's really easy to do. We're just going to click on the dot 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 and I'm going to call this switch rope to crypt. And we'll click OK. So when rope to crypt is on, that is going to activate the conditional branch. So I'll click OK there. And now you can see conditional branch switch, rope to crypt on. What do you want to happen? If you haven't turned that switch on, what do you want to happen? So I'll do the else first. I'm going to do show text. Then we'll have my player saying, you know, hmm, oh no, there we go. I think I will need a rope for that. Preview to make sure it fits. Yep, looks good. Click OK. So now when I go clicking on that, if I don't have the uh, if I don't have the rope switch turned on, it's just going to say he needs a rope for that, and nothing's going to happen from that point. But if you do have the rope, what do we want to happen? Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Insert, and we'll just show another player text. So it's good to have the player talking uh, before something happens. All right, down I go exclamation point because he's shouting that obviously. So we're going to do down on go next, we're going to go to insert, and what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple transfer. So I'm going to click transfer player, I'm going to set the destination to the crypt right down to there, we'll click OK, we'll click OK. And that's what's going to happen. So let's go test that event now and uh, let's just set our starting position right here. Our music's going to pop on real quick so bear with the music. <laughs> I didn't set a starting position there. That's my bad. I actually created a quick event for some reason. So I wanted to do set starting position player. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, so here's my town. Let's go over to this pit here. I'm going to click on it. Descend into the crypt. I click no. Nah, he doesn't like pits. That's understandable. Let's try Let's click yes. I think I'll need a rope for that. So I actually can't go down into the pit yet because we don't have the rope. So let's create the rope now. And um, you can put the rope in this crate over here. Maybe there's a rope by the well. Um, 
you know, kind of wherever uh, makes sense to you. I was originally going to put it in the crate, but it actually makes kind of sense that's over here in the well because we had the bucket out of the well. And maybe there's a rope next to the well. So I'm going to create a new event here. I'm going to put the priority to same as characters. And let's do a search the well. So let's do show text. It's going to search the well. And then what we'll do now is we will do a show choices, yes and no. When no, player will just respond. Nope. And when yes, we'll do show text, you found a rope. And we're not actually getting a rope. Uh, you, could, you could go through the process of going through the database and creating a rope for your item. There might already be one there. But this rope is really only serving the purpose of going down to the crypt. So instead of actually making an item, all I'm going to do now is go to insert, control switches, and I'm going to turn that rope to crypt switch on. And that's all that's going to happen. Nothing's going to go into your inventory, but we're just flicking that switch that's going to enable us to go down into the crypt. So I'll click Apply. Let's click OK. Let's go test our game again. So once again, if I try to go into the crypt here, descend into the crypt, yes. I think I need a rope for that. And let's go see if that worked. Here's the well. Search the well. Click no. Should say nope. Search the well. You found a rope. All right. Let's go see if that works. Back over here. All right, down I go, and into the crypt I am. Excellent, and you can make a transfer point up there at the top uh, to fix that issue there. And later you can have a, a, a door, you know, a key to go open the door and get the treasure. There's obviously some nice treasure there, right? So that's really great uh, about that. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you guys found that informative, and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.